Before solving the nice exponential equation, let's have a look at the left side function x to the power of x, denoted as fx. So the fx equals x to the power of x. It looks like this one. It seems past this point 0 and 1. Actually, you cannot take x equals 0 because 0 to the power of 0 is undefined. So we put look like this one. You also have a minimum point here, right? To figure out that, we let the derivative of fx equals 0. We know the root of the fx equals x to the power of x times ln x plus 1. So we get the critical point x equals 1 over e. The corresponding y value is f at 1 over e, which is 1 over e to the power of 1 over e. It is approximately 0 0.69. For Constant a, let's consider the equation x to the power of x equals a, denoted as star. It has a few possibilities. The first one would be when a less than the minimum value, so a less than 1 over e to the power of 1 over e, then the graph y equals a would look like this one. It is below the minimum point, no intersection, so no solution in this case. No solution. The second case, if a equals the minimum value, so a equals one over e to the power of one over e, then y equals a just tangent to the minimum pole. So it has a unique solution. So unique, x equals one over e. When a is greater than the minimum value, one over e to the power one over e, but less than one. So y equals a would look like this one. Then you see there's no, uh, there's a two intersections, right? So you should have two solutions. So two solutions. Let's take the given equation as example. We know this one e approximately equals 0 0.71, which is greater than 0 0.69, the minimum value. Of course, it less than one, right? So you should have two solutions. Actually, we can figure out them. x equal, uh, to the power of x equals one over square root of two, but we can write as one over two to the power of one over two. So we get one solution, x equals half. But we can also express it in different form. So x to the power of x equals, we know that equals one over two to the power of one over two. We can write the base as square root of one over four, right? And then to the power of one over two. And the base can be written as one over four to the power of a half, and then to the power of half. So we get one over four to the power of one over four. So the second solution would be x equals 1 over 4. Finally, if a greater than or equals 1, then y equals a would look like this one. So we only have one intersection, so one solution. For example, x to the power of x equals 27. You can write as 3 to the power of 3. So the unique solution would be x equals 3. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.